What's going on, I'm Taylor. I'm Dre. And it's back. welcome back to Two Guys on Trailer, the only show where we tell you uh, to watch or not watch a movie based on the trailer and what we think about it. Watch, no, watch on Netflix. An honest review about whether you should save that, I guess, well, how much movies cost now? Hard like 40, 20, 20 bucks? Movies yeah. like, like... If you go a date, yeah, like 25 bucks. Yeah, or, and then if you buy some popcorn, all that gets out there quick. It's like $40. You can spend $40 at a goddamn movie easily. theater easily. Yeah. Easily. But uh, today we're taking a look at Red Sparrow, which is the movie that um, I saw a trailer to. I actually Dre. He's, he's running through it. Kind of a weird movie. Not really... Uh, Breaking the fourth wall. We actually watched these trailers beforehand. Before, yeah. <laughs> so... You gave away the magic to the show. No, that's fine. We all, so yeah. much. <laughs> only because only when they put the, video, the trailer on here, it's it, you know, no sound. But this is an odd trailer. But we'll we'll go through it. We'll see. We'll we'll go show what's going on. So here we go. Um, I got my red on just to match. By the way. Yeah. All right. So. So so here we have Jennifer Lawrence. We own uh, you've seen Jennifer Lawrence in you know a couple of romantic comedy movies. You know the Passengers, what have you. And and before that, she was X Men. Um, I'm but pretty sure now, she's most known for uh, Hunger Games. Hunger Games too. Okay, some action movies. <laughs> so. And she's in she's in that new mother film that's been getting. Both praised and trash at the same time. So it's kind of weird, but in just, this in this case, it looks like she is playing a lady of the night here. I think called prostitute sailor. Lady of the night. Being lady of the night. So he tells her to take off her clothes, and she kills him, <laughs> yes, like you do. Uh, so now, now she went. To that a, is dating in 2017. Now, so, so next year, <laughs> you know. So we're we're, ta- we're we're now hanging out in Moscow. I'm not sure Moscow. My apologies, and. Apparently, they, these these people these people were these soldiers were trained to seduce and kill people, and that's what she uh, is. She's called femme she's, fatale. It's just basically yeah. the femme fatale revisited in twenty eighteen. Yeah, she's called a she's called a sparrow and sparrow. Now um, the the thing the thing I don't know about this is, okay, is she a good person or a bad person? Okay, the, so. the trailer the trailer doesn't really doesn't tell you this doesn't tell you that if you are going for or against her. Like oh, sexy Jennifer Lawrence. She kills people, but she's also the villain. It could be a misdirect to the whole trailer. Um, if I had to put my money on it, I mean, you don't hire Jennifer Lawrence for people to hate her. You hire Jennifer Lawrence because people love her so much. To me, this plays out a lot like Salt. So if you guys saw Salt, it was a film of the basic same premise. There's this film from town camp out in the middle of Russia, where they train ladies to giving their people that are feminine a while where they're really crazy psycho bitch uh black widow assassins right yeah black widow. So, so black widow assassins a uh, sleeper agents kind of thing where oh hey they use a feminine wiles they get in and then they just execute you um i don't know why she's picking up strange men who were like once prostitute maybe that dude was like a rich maybe he didn't seem to have that much money i mean he he didn't have the iPhone X. Clearly, he had like an S6, so he wasn't baller status. It didn't look like he was baller, unless they just don't get those phones out in Russia. I don't, I don't know, but uh, he, he just looked like a regular dude that needed some money or just wanted some loving. Yeah, and she killed him. So, um, but I, I definitely think it's going on that route where they're gonna hit like there's some big ultimate plot of taking over the government or why train a bunch of females to go kill people just to go have them sleep with pro- like well it's Rus- like- it's the Russian, Russian soldiers so there has to be some kind of good I guess because they're Russian soldiers um, also I don't know if you're gonna hey, nobody's making any jokes from current political and then like oh Russia whatever <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what's going on there but uh, we're, not, I, we're not gonna do that here do you wanna go with that now um, but <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm this trailer looks interesting I guess but it doesn't look like it doesn't look this, this looks original. Like, this to looks me. like it needs to. This looks like it should have been uh, released. Well, it was 2018, so it may. This looks like it's going to get released probably in the first quarter of January, between the first few months. It's more of early, early pre-summer. We need to put in a movie. We need a, a name. So here is Jennifer Lawrence in this. It doesn't look bad. I'll say. I mean, the, nothing about that trailer screamed bad. It looks so. I would say the timing of this movie is wrong. Um, in the sense that we just got Atomic Blonde with um. God, I forget. Charlie Theron. There you go. Charlize Theron. Yeah. Um, we just got a Tommy Blonde. We, uh, two years ago, two or three years ago, we had Salt. Um, there's a cry. Or we just had Ghost in the Show, which bombed, unfortunately. But we're, then we're we saying, got, Then we got Tomb Raider coming out. Yeah, they're ranking over Tomb Raider. What I'm saying is this this powerful female spy um, kick ass is so, like, being pushed so much that all these films are coming out at the same time. And it's just like, the timing's off. Like, now that we've seen it, it's kind of like, 
I mean, in one sense, it's really cool because like there's these kick ass women. On the other flip side of this coin, it's like we just saw this, um, and it, especially this story, that whole uh, sleeper agent from Russia, like literally, yeah. Salt is that exact same plot, right? Have you seen Salt? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, well, Salt is like almost, if I recall, the same thing. Sleeper agent, Russian plot. Uh, we have Black Widow, same thing. Sleeper agent, Russian plot. Uh, it, and then we have Femme Fatale, which is like um, way back when. Yeah. Um, and I almost think the whole idea of Femme Fatale is the sleeper agent, female Russian plot. It's just like rehashing the same thing again. Um, a waste of a great actor to me. They could have went a different route with it. They could have even made it like... Um, Polish and Denmark, or German. I don't know. Something, it doesn't matter where it came from. Yeah, like it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it just seems like they're playing on the, it, it stories all this time. That said, Jennifer Lawrence. If you love Jennifer Lawrence, go out and support Jennifer Lawrence. It doesn't look bad. I just don't think it's worth the dollar bills that you're gonna spend. I'm um, a, unless you have a female date who really loves some Jennifer Lawrence. Then hell yeah, pay that money. Yeah. So <laughs> what do you what do you got? What do you, what do you what's your uh, your take on this? Uh, unless uh, my significant other and or side piece wants to go see it, then I, I'm not going to go see it. I had no I, desire to go see it. I also will give it a pass. I'm not going to watch this movie. <laughs> Even on Netflix, not going to watch it. I say uh, no thank you. I, I'll definitely check it on Netflix. It, does, it definitely so you was interesting then. enough to catch it. I'm not spending that theater money. Cause so, like, Dre, so clarification, Dre says Netflix. Netflix and I'll and go chill. just direct pass all the way through. If my significant other and or side piece wants to see it on Netflix and chill, then we can go do we, we can do that. But I ain't about to spend no forty bucks to go see some film I feel like I've already seen. Like I feel like I already know how it's gonna play out. And it, it's like Yeah. Atomic blonde salt all over again. Atomic well, blonde salt. Well there you go, atomic <laughs> blonde salt. Let us know. What do you think about Red Sparrow? Is this something that you'd see, you wouldn't see, you'd pass on it like I am? Who knows? And there Tell wasn't us. enough red to call it red sparrow to me. <laughs> just, it could it could be red sparrow. It could be red, black, blonde, kind of like in uh, Reservoir Dogs, where each of them have a color. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, I mean, I I she wore a red dress in the very beginning, but that was like all the red. So did Carmen San Diego. You don't see her being red sparrow. Well, she was a red sparrow. Yeah. But Carmen San Diego's red sparrow. Carmen San Diego origin story I'm confirmed. I'm surprised they haven't made a Carmen San Diego movie yet. That's like the female Indian. G- Wait, she's a thief. Yeah. It, but it was such a great story. There was a cartoon. Yeah. Two TV shows. A cappella and the great from the mm-hmm. one from Glorious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. And that I know before Dre saw singing it. Uh, yeah. Let us know what you think about the comics about this, this film. If you're going to watch it, pass on it or Netflix it. And let us know if you think that, like Dre, this is another Femme Fatale rehash of the same thing. They need something else to do it's on that the, note. It's the Femme Fatale rehash with the heart of gold. See you guys later. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,